how can we change this how can we teach uh, uh, maybe those those students those those children who's trying to go abroad thinking that abroad is the best and not understanding the value that we have how can we change that mentality i think first of all in education we have to change our value system because we had a very good value system in sri lanka but nowadays we think uh, everything is money everything is money that is totally wrong because uh, if we want to change a country first of all we have to change the value system so uh, one country can be rich but wealth and money is different wealth can be uh, some valuable thing but money or rich there are rich countries they have money but we uh, we may not have lot of money even though we have lot of wealth mm. see can we see uh, can we sell our elephants can we see our singaraja forest can we sell uh, other animals and birds no we cannot sell we cannot make money sometime we can can make money with tourism or such a, such as things but it is not like fuel it is not uh, like uh, gold it is not like uh, coal you know we cannot dig it and sell yes, but it is wealth so we have to think about our wealth that is one thing and also uh, here we have to uh, see uh, our main and our uh, major lifestyle was agricultural mm. lifestyle but nowadays people do not like to do agriculture and also uh, they think farmer is poor mm. in other countries mm. there are farmers those who have helicopters yes. i don't say in sri lanka also the farmer should have <laughs> helicopters <laughs> that's uh, uh, something else however our value system uh, those days we uh, we said mada sodagat kal govya rajakamata suduse fama can become a king, king. after washing his mat but now uh, they are uh, you know they, they think the farm farmer is a poor person that is uh, in our mind then nobody likes to become a farmer and, and also Uh, mother can say if you don't uh, study well then you will become a farmer then uh, that that is our uh, thinking hmm. way how we think then that is uh, wrong and also uh, i want to say the education primary education secondary education tertiary education we need a uh, very good reform these days i think government is doing some educational reform i don't know what they are doing in good way or bad way but i didn't pay my attention here. however uh, it should tally with the uh, developed countries and also it should uh, contact it should think about our culture our values our norms and all those things if if we don't consider our values norms and culture then uh, that education do not tally with the mm. country uh, we uh, always we are teaching to our students and we produce you know degree holders a lot but what is the contribution of them yeah. as a university professor uh, i hope honestly honestly i can say they are uh, our university system do not provide uh, enough strength to the nation to the development of the nation because they are teaching them giving the jobs uh, sorry giving the degrees but that degree does not enough uh, enough to change the society and also those people also teaching again the same thing yeah. sometimes same not uh, the other thing we have good uh, students those who have taken first class in their degree economics 
but our economy goes down <laughs> there are very uh, you know high, good uh, geography uh, you know scientists, scientists. Yeah. but uh, uh, <laughs> everywhere uh, we have some problems like landslide and other yeah. things there are uh, very very good uh, political teachers you know everywhere we can see our politicians what are doing then then uh, th we don't have um, link the practice and the method the practice and method should have very good link <laughs>